Robert Whitaker made a bold statement and it seems to be paying off. After his swift TKO victory over Ikram Aliskarov in the UFC on ABC6 main event in Saudi Arabia, Whitaker expressed his desire to serve as a backup for the middleweight title fight between Dreykus Duplessis and Israel Adesanya scheduled for August 17 at UFC 305. At the post-fight press conference, UFC CEO Dana White praised Whitaker's performance and highlighted the significance of his win, saying, I'm not kidding you, nobody in the top 15 wanted to fight Aliskarov. This guy would have been the co-main event last weekend. He had a full camp. He came in. Kamzat Chimaev calls this guy one of the toughest fights he's ever had and Whitaker made it look easy tonight. He looked like a stud. We'd love to have him as a UFC 305 backup. Whitaker has previously faced both Duplessis and Adesanya, losing once to the former and twice to the latter. Despite these setbacks, Whitaker has demonstrated resilience, winning back-to-back -back fights since his 2023 loss to Duplessis. His bout against Aliskarov was particularly impressive, lasting only 149, showcasing his readiness for another shot at the title. Kamzat Chimaev reached out to Robert Whitaker after Whitaker's impressive first-round knockout victory over Ikram Aliskarov at UFC Saudi Arabia. Originally, Chimaev and Whitaker were scheduled to headline the event at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh. However, due to an undisclosed illness that required hospitalization, Chimaev had to withdraw. In Chimaev's place, Ikram Aliskarov stepped in on short notice to face Whitaker. The bout turned out to be a dominant display by Whitaker, who hurt Aliskarov early on and maintained relentless pressure. Whitaker landed a powerful high kick followed by an uppercut that floored the Russian. The referee quickly intervened after a few follow-up shots, awarding Whitaker the victory. Following Whitaker's decisive win, Chimaev took to social media platform X, formerly Twitter, to congratulate him and offer support to Aliskarov. Chimaev wrote, Congratulations Whitaker, we are not done. I wish you a speedy recovery, Ikram Aliskarov, keep your head up my brother. Chimaev has faced a series of health issues recently, including battles with COVID-19 and intestinal problems. Despite these setbacks, his management team has confirmed that he intends to return to the octagon once he is fully healthy. Chimaev's last fight was a victory over Kamaru Usman, 20-4 MMA, in October 2023 at UFC 294. As for Robert Whitaker, the former middleweight champion is now on a two-fight winning streak, having previously defeated Paulo Costa by unanimous decision in February at UFC 298. Shara Magomedov secured his second UFC victory on June 22, 2024, by knocking out Antonio Trocoli in the third round at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. This impressive win earned Magomedov a $50,000 performance of the night bonus. The fight, which was a last-minute matchup, showcased Magomedov's striking skills and unique fighting style. Magomedov has garnered significant attention since joining the UFC due to his flashy fighting techniques and distinctive appearance. His UFC career so far has been limited to the Middle East, with his debut taking place in Abu Dhabi at UFC 294. Despite fans' curiosity about when he might fight in the United States, UFC CEO Dana White clarified during the UFC Saudi Arabia post-fight press conference that it is unlikely Magomedov will fight in the US anytime soon. White stated, can he fight in America? Probably not. We'll keep him out here. Magomedov does have a visa to travel to the United States for an upcoming movie role, as confirmed by MMAmania.com. However, his ability to fight in the US is complicated by the fact that he fights with one eye, which would likely prevent him from being sanctioned to compete in most states. 
only Texas or Florida, known for their more lenient regulations, would potentially allow him to fight, as evidenced by their sanctioning of high-profile yet unconventional bouts like Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul and Evander Holyfield vs. Vitor Belfort. Magomedov's striking prowess and recent knockout victory continue to build his reputation, but his future in the U.S. fight scene remains uncertain due to regulatory challenges. Heavyweights Tai Tuivasa and Jairzinho Rosenstroik are set to clash at the upcoming UFC 305 event, scheduled for August 17 in Perth, Australia. Multiple sources confirmed to MMA Fighting that both fighters have verbally agreed to the matchup. Tuivasa, currently ranked number 9 in the MMA Fighting Global Rankings, will be looking to end a four-fight losing streak when he returns to his home country. His most recent bout saw him submitted by Marcin Tibora in the first round this past March. Throughout his recent skid, Tuivasa has suffered two knockout losses and two submission defeats, making this fight crucial for his career prospects in the UFC. The fight was officially leaked, when Tai Tuivasa shared in training footage with Alex Pereira, where he was seen sharing some words with his coach. Out of nowhere he revealed that he will fight at UFC 305 again and will face Rosenstroik as his next opponent. This bout adds to the growing excitement for UFC 305, which will be headlined by a middleweight title fight between champion Drykus Duplessis and Israel Adesanya. This card is shaping up to be a significant event, promising thrilling matchups for MMA fans. With an ambition to stage the greatest live sports event of all time, UFC CEO Dana White has invested $16 million to ensure UFC 306 is a truly spectacular show. This eagerly anticipated card will take place at the newly designed Las Vegas Sphere, a $2.3 billion venue renowned for its visually stunning concerts. Dana White's vision for UFC 306 is clear. He wants it to be an unforgettable event, saying, I'm already $16 million into this thing. This will never be done again. This will never be replicated," White shared during an interview on the Club Shay Shay podcast. Anybody who comes in after me at the Sphere is messed up. One and done. It will be the greatest live sporting event anyone has ever seen. The timing of UFC 306 is significant, scheduled for September 14, just two days before Mexican Independence Day. White emphasized the cultural importance of this event, saying, This is my love letter to Mexico, the Mexican people, and the history of combat in Mexico. It's gonna be done in the greatest arena ever built with the best technology in the world right now as far as arenas go. This year has already been monumental for the UFC, with UFC 300 celebrating the promotion's legacy in spectacular fashion. That card featured highlights such as Alex Pereira's stunning first-round finish over Jamahal Hill and Max Holloway's memorable knockout of Justin Gaethje. Despite these past successes, White believes UFC 306 will surpass them saying, We're working on the card and tweaking it every day. Everybody should want to be on that card, he said confidently. The anticipation surrounding the event suggests that UFC 306 will feature a lineup of blockbuster fights, aiming to deliver an experience like no other. As the UFC continues to innovate and push the boundaries of live sports entertainment, the event at the Sphere is set to be a milestone in the promotion's history. White's ambitious plans and significant investment indicate that fans can expect an extraordinary night of mixed martial arts marking UFC 306 as an event for the ages. UFC CEO Dana White has responded to Conor McGregor's recent comments hinting at a return to the Octagon in August or September. McGregor, who boasts a record of 22-6 MMA, was initially scheduled to headline next weekend's UFC 303 event in a welterweight bout against Michael Chandler. 
However, a broken toe sustained during training camp forced McGregor to withdraw from the much-anticipated fight. Today, while attending the Bellator Dublin event, McGregor informed reporters of his intentions to fight again later this year, either in August or September. When asked about McGregor's withdrawal from UFC 303, Dana White remarked, Yay, it's been crazy. But it's always crazy, if it's not these kinds of things, it is a lot of other things. It's the business that we're in. Regarding McGregor's potential return timeline, White expressed caution, I don't know right now. Yay, you know our schedule is already laid out, so we'll see. I'm not doing anything until I know that Connor is healthy. It's not even worth talking about. You know, what about September? What about October? He's not ready. So why even talk about that? McGregor's last appearance in the Octagon was in 2021, where he lost to Dustin Poirier in their trilogy fight at UFC 264, suffering a broken leg in the process. His last victory was in January 2020, when he defeated Donald Cerrone by first-round TKO at UFC 246. It remains to be seen if Dana White and the UFC will schedule McGregor for a fight before the end of 2024.